Malvernian as someone who is willing to take on a challenge but also is respectful and incorporates all of like the Franciscan ways of life. It's a wonderfully um, life-affirming way to, to live and to learn and I think the girls really appreciate that notion of, of being cared for and, uh, and that shows in the teaching and learning. It's almost a, as soon as you walk in the gates it's a different feel that you have um, and it is the way students will greet you, the way staff member will ask you about how you're going. School is like the best thing that ever happened to me. It puts a different complexion on life. Franciscan people are people for others so the expectation of um, people who are in our community is that they are people for others. We came to a couple of the open days and through the open days and the girls that took us on tours through the school, we were just really impressed. Um, and then when we found out that it was a Franciscan school on top of that with the values that they provide and um, try to teach the girls, that just made our choice easy. In 2015, we're going to be having in our school year sevens and year eights. So two new cohorts. We've been on the middle years journey for a number of years now. Actually the past 10 years, we've already got a large variety of programs in place for our middle years learners. We currently make sure that the transition from the primary through to the secondary is such that there's not major differences. We limit the number of teachers uh, because our view is that the relationship that exists between the teacher and the students is critical to success in education. So we're trying to develop our community of learners so as it caters to a, a school that is truly a 7 to 12 secondary school, not an 8 to 12 secondary school with grade 7 tapped on the end. We learn about the girls, is their hopes, their talents, their dreams and possibly even their concerns um, and how we can actually help them with that transitioning process. Big Sister Little Sister program is where your a year 12 student is assigned a new year 8, because year 8's come into the school, a little buddy and in that process the year 12, they're there to provide support and guidance. She was there for me and she um, told me where to go and was always organising me and she was always there for me. By the start of 2015 when our girls come in Grade 7 and Grade 8 that year is going to be a big year that we will have a beautiful space for them. We employed an architect and gave him the brief of developing something different and then the whole front of the school is going to be a garden space and we're going to put our chapel, our cart tree, in the middle of that with glass walls so when you go to pray or meet you will look right out into the garden. It's about saying, well, how are we going to help these kids grow to be the best people that they can be? So you don't just jump and think, treat everyone the same. You try and work with each individual and find out their story. We have five pastoral guardians whose job is to look after the girls in each year level. A pastoral guardian is someone who oversees the well-being of the students within her cohort. So essentially she's really responsible for making sure that the girls are known and that they actually belong in their school. Students who require extra assistance are catered for in a number of ways. We um, adopt an inclusive approach that means that we cater for all the individuals and the diversity of all individuals. They're always welcoming, so if you have any problems, um, they don't mind if you come and knock on their door. Being with the girls at lunch times, meeting them, asking about who they are, where they come from, what their interests are, that's really important. But one uh, big thing for, for me in my role is looking at staff development. And uh, while we have this um, focus that everyone's a learner here, that we're a community of learners and we have a responsibility to nourish all of our learners. Just recently become an eye centre so we launched this idea that we move, we have moved away from a traditional library. We use push technologies like Facebook and Twitter to get the information to them so that um, they're always being engaged. We have a group going to Voices on the Coast in a short time. We've got the Days of Excellence. Um, but we also have mentors available. Some students um, in Year 11 and 12 are taking university courses as part of their curriculum. What they have
have received here at Mount Alvernia College has actually ensured that they have a richness of person that they are able to go out into the wider community and they are really totally whole when they leave here. We've got these kids recognising that they're good within, that they have their own potential and that they can go places. It's about the atmosphere I guess that the school brings and it's helped shape me in a way in which it's given me a platform for my future endeavours. I can honestly say that this school will do its best to give your child the best of its teachers and its staff and hopefully bring your, when they walk out of these doors in year 12, that they're a confident young woman who can uh, tackle anything that's out there.